What is up guys? Prodigy here. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Thank you very much for watching my video. And in this one, I got you guys some destiny. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for destiny, so please be sure to drop a like and let's get this video going. In case if you guys did not know, today was Bungie's stream regarding the next sandbox update for destiny. And with this update, they're actually doing something different. Their main goal with the sandbox update is to adjust all sort of attacks and counter attacks and the crucible instead of going in and nerfing whatever that we're calling op at the moment they're actually going to try to set a counter for it instead of just nerfing it straight to the ground so now that the stream is over let's go ahead and see what they did starting off with the shotguns and again guys i would definitely appreciate if you guys can drop a like on this video with this update it allows me to upload future content for destiny to see how these weapons change and change the game so if you guys want to see more videos for destiny drop a like and let me know in the comments below but anyways let's go ahead and move on to the shotgun Guns. All right. Um, and so I believe Greg has a Matador 64 in his hands. Uh, it's a little gnome special weapon that's seen some use as of late. Yes. Uh, and uh, yeah, so a couple of things we've done are, for starters, we have significantly decreased magnetism and entirely turned off aim assist when firing a shotgun from the hip. You're going to have to aim that thing. You're going to have to aim it. Yeah. So yeah, so you either want to be real so, close or uh, you want to be zoomed in. Okay. And then, yeah, if you zoom in and do the, the walk around trick. Oh, uh, look how sticky that is. And yet, if he unzooms. Now, here, go ahead and unzoom. And do the sticky trick. Oh, not as sticky, see? Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. doing some stuff. Uh, and then the other thing we did uh, that is, again, intended to put the shotgun kind of more in its in its place and it back to its corner, uh, is we've significantly decreased the in-air accuracy of shotguns. Uh -huh. And so you can't just, I mean, occasionally, you know, you get lucky, it's a shotgun, right? It does sure. spread, you, you'll you occasionally kill a guy. But very often these days, if you try, you were on the ground when you did that. If you would try to uh, kill a guy from the air, you're very likely to, to significantly miss. Well, there, well, he was right up on the well, ground. Yeah, I mean, now. that's cheating, right? There you go. Okay. A key thing that we try to do is, um, we get a lot of complaints that you know shotguns are somewhat inconsistent, and partially that has to do with the fact that depending on whether you get a headshot or not, there's a precision damage multiplier that increases the damage of a pellet. And because the shotgun spread is inherently random, uh, there may be some cases where more or less pellets are going to hit the head. So uh, sometimes the guy dies, sometimes, sometimes the guy yeah, doesn't right. die. Sometimes right? doesn't like, die. Yeah. So in the new world, we actually removed precision damage from shotguns. So the ideal strategy is to go straight for chest. Okay. Uh, of course, it's to make sure that we don't affect PVE uh, in a bad way. Uh, we made sure that shotguns now do 20% more damage combatants to offset the reduction or I guess complete removal of precision damage. Now the cool thing about that in PVE that I think is worth noting, no noting is that uh, you don't have to go for the precision kill with the shotguns to get that bonus damage. So you're, the shotguns just get more damage in PvE these yes. days. Yes, they're just straight up better. Yes. Yep. Uh, one other thing that we did, technically two other things, one is positive. Uh, we removed, so for, for range finder on shotguns, which is a, uh, a key perk, I would say, for the Matador Pretty 64, uh, we have decreased your ADS time uh, so the time it takes to go from hip into ADS, about 25% yes. on that perk. Okay. Uh, and so that just gives you a reason that you, you know, rangefinder isn't necessarily always the best. And again, because you, we are pushing you into a position where you want to aim that gun, now rangefinder still boosts your range, but you pay for it a little bit by having to slowly move into ADS. Okay. And then, uh... And then, uh, yeah. finally we removed, the, we had previously, in an old nerf, a long, long ago, we had put a movement penalty on the shotguns when you're actually moving around with a weapon in your hands, and we've removed that. We feel like it's unnecessary these days, and there's, yeah. you know, you're paying for the, the hips or the ADF stuff now, not that. So we so made them better. To summarize all of this, when you think about uh, a shotgun, uh, when you think about the concept of a, of a shotgun, it's a scatter weapon. Yes. It's not built for precision. Right. So removing precision damage as you said, sends it back to its own corner. I like that. Um, and uh, <laughs> shotguns are, uh, you know, a stand and deliver weapon. Uh, the idea of somebody flying through the air with a big heavy barrel and using it as an acrobat right. is not really what you had intended it for. Correct. So shotguns are still supposed to be lethal. Yes, I mean, Shotguns absolutely. are badass. I personally love shotguns, and it's dangerous to say that 
uh, right now because it's a great way to paint a target on your back for the community. <laughs> but right there, I mean, pretty much standing toe to toe, firing from the hip, you're only taking shields down. But then if you stand and you aim, and you have no special ammo, yeah, so none of that's going to happen. Uh, but if you, if you stand and you shoulder that shotgun and you fire you know, at the body mass, yep. it's still going to be an effective weapon. Correct. But Here if you're go. flying through Push. the air with the greatest of ease and uh, you know, trying to use it as if you're a blue angel or something like that, it's just not going to happen for you. That's cool. um, Obviously, you know, if you if you Batman a player and you do like a death from above move, if you can, you know, yeah, I mean, if surprise you put it them. against the top of his dome, yes. there's a good chance that you're going to drop him. Okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, yeah, so I think the other big thing um, that we talked about earlier is pulse rifles. Okay. So, if we want to switch to those, Gregory. Mm hmm. Oh, you're so, I get it. I'm sorry. Uh, first thing we did was we reduced the rate of fire for the. Highest rate of fire pulse rifles by 7.7%. So okay. that pretty much equates, if you talk about frames, that's, that's, it takes one more frame before you can fire another. Say that again. Round. You reduced the rate of fire by 7.7%? 7.7%. Okay. So, so this, this is kind of a patch amount. note preview. You'll yeah. get all the numbers. You'll get all the gory details. You'll be able to scrutinize the decimal points and the percentage symbols. But this is sort of a, a high-level preview of what you'll see on Tuesday when you read your patch notes. So what are some examples of some of the highest rate of fire pulse rifles? I see you're uh, wielding Clever oh, Dragon yeah. there. So that's Clever Dragon and Grass of Malik. Those are the two all most right. notable... Highest rate of fire pulse I, I have heard tell of the grasp of Malik. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it's graspy. Yeah, it's, gra it's very, it's very graspy <laughs> it's and very Malik graspy. Yeah. And uh, in this case, if you were to do the maths again by lowering the rate of fire, uh, Greg can bet me up on this. We've technically lowered the DPS by yes. a bit, which you know, if you're if you're new to the weapon balancing field, that's what yeah. that's going to do. So it is going to lower. Translate the, the inside baseball for me. DPS stands for damage per second. Okay, not destiny player support. It could, though. It could. It yeah. does. Because that's how acronyms. That's how acronyms work. work yeah. Okay. Uh, what else have we done to the pulse rifles? Uh, we've... Oh, this is you. Oh, you're, yeah. You're sure. We have notes. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to keep shooting and demonstrating. Oh, as yeah. you let, them, let them see the guns. So, let them see the numbers. So high caliber rounds, uh, the effect of high caliber rounds for pulse rifles has been reduced. So the amount of flint you get from pulse rifles overall will be lower. Now, not only did we change the effect for high color rounds, we also reduced the, the base flinch for pulse rifles in general. This might be a good time to point out, though, that we did fix high caliber rounds we, for... We did. We fixed high caliber rounds for pretty much every other... <laughs> All the ones we broke <laughs> it for? Yeah. So hand cannons and scouts, <clears throat> um, in the past, they were either non-effectual or actual uh, reductions in flinch for high caliber rounds, thanks to the community. They pointed, the, pointed this out to us. Okay. Yep. So here's the biggest thing. We, we directly nerf Clever Dragon and Grasp Malik by mm -hmm. reducing their magazine size. So this means that if you want to run what uh, commonly known as the God Roll, the Brace Frame Clever Dragon, it'll reduce your magazine from 24 to 18, uh -huh. which is quite a significant. So there's yeah. going to be a much more trade off to get that God Roll yep. for, for these guns. And Clever used to be 30, and then Brace Frame would drop it to 60. Uh, to 24, is yeah. that right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. still a godly weapon, but fewer <clears throat> bullets in the mag. You have to choose your engagements a little bit more carefully. Someone like me who has no reload discipline, I would be I would be in deep trouble. Exactly. Uh, and then on the positive side, I'll come stand up here. Mm -hmm. The link correctly. There we go. Uh, we have increased the rate of fire for the lowest rate of fire pulse rifles uh -huh. uh, by 5.3 percent. Oh, little star. And then, um, so that means that the lowest rate of fire pulse rifles actually have a DPS boost, damage per second boost, Destiny player support. Uh, and then we've also, and this is a this is across the remaining uh, primary. So pulse rifles, assault rifles, and scout rifles, we have increased all of their in-air accuracy. So for those of you who have been jealous of the hand cannoners flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Uh, they're still not level because we've still felt like there's some personality there with the hand cannon that yeah. deserves to be respected. Okay. Uh, but they are significantly better in air and allow you to deal uh, more more damage, hit your targets more accurately okay. while flying. Uh, let's talk about assault rifles. All right. Uh, so I'll switch to one and then Greg can. Tell me about my piece. beloved Shadow Price. So we increased the base damage okay. of uh, the low rate of fire auto rifles. Yes. So those become uh, much more easy to use. 
um, we increase the precision damage multiplier from uh, 1.25 to now 1.3. Okay. So you're gonna get a uh, slightly higher time to kill actually on the uh, highest rate of fire doctrine class. So that is, I mean, that is quite literally a move by inches. Yes. Uh, you know, to employ uh, a metaphor from the big game over the weekend. Um, <laughs> yep. When uh, sometimes when our community sees fractions of percentage points in uh, in weapon changes, they tend to scoff because if I told you, hey, I just gave you a .05 raise don't spend it all in one place. They'd be like, thanks, jerk. But when we're talking about a weapon, when we're talking about a percentage damage, precision damage multiplier, talk to me about like, how that change is going to feel in their hands. Well, it's going to make it so that uh, the, the importance for aiming on head is a little bit more important for autos. Uh, so you get like the bonus by being more precise. We also uh, inherit the lovely in-air accuracy bonus for autos as well. So basically, assault rifles, full buff across the board, like just, just better in every way. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. So hopefully, I'm thanking you on you. behalf of myself. I can't. <laughs> I really can't speak for. Uh, I can't speak for everyone in chat right now. Um, but uh, there's uh, there's mixed reactions. That's the great thing about Destiny. So many different types of players. So many different combat specialties, preferences, and ways to play. So uh, you know, everybody gets to give and receive a little bit of in 2502. And to be clear, we play tested the crap out of these changes. So like, well, they're not gonna so. be perfect, right? But like, What's we perfect? played them, right, exactly. Have right. you ever played a perfect video game? Don't answer that. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but just like, we've played the assault rifles and felt, felt the buff and it matters. Like, okay. it, it changes things for sure. Good. Yeah. All right, uh, so up next. Hand cannon. The hand cannon. The hand cannon, so the... let me uh, switch. All right, so. Uh, Let's talk about hand cannons. Let's talk about hand cannons. If you know anything about me, it's definitely my favorite weapon. You're a gunslinger. I'm a gunslinger. All right. That's right. Uh, so for hand cannons, what we have done is we have significantly increased the initial accuracy. As in, and when I say significant, I mean we reset it literally to the D. Uh, Destiny the year, year one. one yeah. Non-taken king. Or, uh, year one hand cannon initial accuracy. Okay. Uh, now, it blows out larger than it did in year one, but that initial first shot, that's just like you got it straight out of the box. Right? <laughs> so I'm reading chat. Oh no, yes, laugh out loud, thank the Lord, finally. Oh God, no, don't do this. So uh, yeah, talk so about me, a, a polarizing weapon, the yes. hand cannon. So, so here's the thing, if we do that, and we did, but if we did, and we did, <laughs> they are going to be real good. Yeah. So we're going to have to... Give something. Give something. Yeah. It can't be a handheld sniper rifle. Correct. It's the, it's the mini sniper rifle. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, so what we did is we reduced the base range by about five meters. Nothing. It's fine. It's just like a, a cat. It's, it's just a clicker. Uh, by about five meters. So they drop off faster than they used to. Okay. And that includes the aim assist and magnetism. Yep. Although we've mostly focused the aim at... So the, the base range changes across the board. It's all hand cannon types. Yep. It's all of them. The aim assist and magnetism reduction is mostly on the uh, the high range yep. hand cannons because we felt like the low end for aim assist and magnetism were about as low as we felt comfortable going. So let's call out these damage numbers as we see them. 40. 40. And then the big thing, the thing you're going to feel more than anything 33. else 33. Yeah. is that we've reduced the max range damage from previously at, at max distance, your hand cannon would drop off to be 50% your max damage. And we've lowered that, so now okay. you can drop all the way down to 30, <laughs> you're just 33%. A, you're in another neighborhood now. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the, the legend of the Old West is back. Your, your bullets go where you aim them. But they do. you got to aim them close. A hand cannon is not a sniper rifle. No. It is, it's not a close quarters weapon like a shotgun. But uh, anybody, it, it's not intended to be, it's not intended to be a laser beam. No, right? it's, it's, so it's, it's significantly more accurate than it has been most recently. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's up to you if you want to choose to pick a fight with a guy all the way across the map. Because in all honesty, you're probably not going to win that fight. Okay. However, it's great for uh, knocking a sniper around and getting him off your buddy long yep. enough so that your buddy can cross a path. Yep. Uh, it's also great for cleanup kills, if that's your thing. If that's your thing. Yep. What did they do? So they have, uh, in an effort to, again 
pull uh, the special weapons back down below primary. So we want you to primarily run your primaries. Yep. And then in special times, special times. run your specials. Yep. Uh, so to do that, we've made some changes to the actual special ammo economy. And they are. They are. So players start crucible matches with, spe with special ammo. So if you are paying attention when we started the stream, uh, you would have noticed that Greg and I both came in with special ammo. Yep. However, don't do it, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do I have it? All right, do it. Do uh, it. However, uh, Pete, you want to switch to me. However, now that I've died, and I respawn, my special ammo is it's gone. gone. It's all gone. It is gone. So you lose it upon death, just like heavy now. You lose it on death, exactly. And so, uh, yeah, Greg, you want to take this part? I'll have Pate stay with me, and I'll show you the thing. Show him the thing. Sure. Uh, so now special crates appear every 60 seconds. So we increase the timer for which okay. they appear. So you're not going to create a famine but you still want people to run around and have to shop for this stuff. Sure. I got my special, I'm using my special, I'm dead. Respawn. I gotta get my special, I've got my special, I use it, I'm dead. Exactly. It okay. becomes a choice of what's the right thing to do right now, right? Okay. And that's not always go fill up your shotgun. Sometimes that's fight it out with your primary. Yeah. Um, sometimes that's get to the special crate and fight for the special. Choose your moments, manage your resources, stay alive. Yep. You're making you're basically provoking people to make more careful decisions about how some of the really powerful weapons in the game get used. Exactly. So there's much more risk rewards with the whole thing. Yeah. And now also we reduce the radius for which the special crate would share with the ally. So it's down to 75 meters instead of 100 meters. So. Oh wow. Okay. So, so it means that like when, when you grab a special, uh, it, that special crate is more than likely just for you. Uh, and then there are a couple of exceptions that people are probably already asking about. I don't know that for a fact, but. Uh, players only start with special for the first round in elimination game types. So in trials, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you spawn in with special that first round, but once you are taken down, um, you will not come back in with it again. You're going to have to go shop for it yeah. after that. That's and uh, what about sidearms? Sidearms remain unchanged. They will still respawn with ammo. So we expect, okay. um, we'll see by how much, Ooh. but we expect the graph okay. to widen for yeah. sidearms for yeah. that reason. Okay. Yep. So if you adore sidearms, have a ball. Here's another reason to okay. continue adoring them. All right. Yep. Um, and then uh, what else? What else do we want to say about uh, the Crucible design changes? So I think to uh, close it out, maybe we'll run through a couple of notable class changes. There weren't a ton of them, but there were a few that we've made. Okay. Um, and this is probably where it, the section of the show where I get the most, the most tweets. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at so, Josh Hamrick. At Josh Hamrick. Uh, get him. Yeah. Uh, so if you could switch to the thingy. I'll switch to the thing. There you go. There we go. Thank you very uh, much. We'll start so, with the uh, start with the hunter. You put yourself first. Huh? I did. I put myself okay. first, as I often do. All right. Um, so I'm trying to think. Do I want to lead it with a good? I'm going to close with the good. I'm okay. going to lead lead with the <laughs> great. Okay. Uh, Hungering blade. Now immediately, like. Give me a demonstration of this. We're I'll all standing you, around here. This isn't good TV, guys. Okay. I told you that we need right, to fight. Gonna, I'll shoot you. Greg, get me a, get me close to dead. More. More. Yes. Okay, so what you just noticed, Greg, again. <laughs> again, no. hit it again. <laughs> oh, he's gonna have there to reload. Go. So uh, what you're seeing there previously on Destiny, Hungry and Blade <laughs> would start to regenerate both your health and your shield at the same time. Yeah. And it would give you a small bump for both of those. So you get yeah. a little bit of health, a little bit of shield, and they both start regenerating. Yeah. Uh, we found that, and by we, I mean, I found that incredibly frustrating to fight against uh, because it feels unfair that you've done all the work. You should be able to take this guy down. Your buddy runs out like, hey, guys, what's it? He just yeah. gets ran over, and that guy's immediately back to full health. Yep. Okay. Um, but I didn't want to crush that. So what we did now is your health immediately starts regenerating. Nothing's changed. And I give you a much bigger bump uh, to health, which is allowed to roll over into your shields. So if you were down by 20, like you'll be up positive of shields by 20. I think it'll give you 40 points of, of health back that is allowed to roll over. Okay. But your, your shields do not start regenerating. So kill to kill, you get a big bump in health every time you get the kill, uh, but it doesn't mean that you're instantly back to full health the way that you previously uh, On a positive note, the throwing knife now deals solar damage. So you can take it into a solar burn and destroy fools with throwing knives, which 
I think it's exciting for okay. anybody that's into that. All right. Uh, anything else about Hunters? Uh, no, that's it. And I okay. think uh, Greg should talk about Warlocks. Yeah. Uh, so we reduced the Stormcaller uh, power melee range to be a bit more consistent with the other power melees. Look at that. You're mm -hmm. not dead. I'm not dead. You're not dead. I live. Yeah, so it is, uh, it is, we just drew the range in to meet the other Warlock subclasses, to be clear. And okay. then to add more of a choice for landfall, uh, if you picked a landfall node, now you have reduced uh, total time in Storm Trance. So, and then if you look at that clock, it's uh, ticking down a little bit faster now. That's right. So, a, a reason to pick other nodes. There you go. And then uh, Titans, neither of us are a Titan, so we can't really show you this. There isn't even a Titan on set. So yeah. do, we have a, do we have a Titan in the, uh, in the loadout here? Let's go see. Let's go. Hey, yeah. I don't know if he's, is he set up? But he's got, so Juggernaut is now disabled after being an AR for a short time. So not immediately, not the moment you come off the ground, not even necessarily the moment you fall off uh, a ledge. Yeah. It takes some amount of time to kick in. Uh, that way, you, you know, you can carry it through what feels like standard. Ah, so scary. Boop. Only oh, one it just came off. So it gives you plenty of time mm -hmm. to do some stuff, but you can't just keep it on forever by, yeah. you know, yeah. flying through the air. Yep. You don't get to be a cabal phalanx in the crucible. Exactly. All right. And then you cannot activate it while midair. Okay. So you can't jump off yes. a ledge and then fire it in the air. And, uh, yeah. Are those all the changes? No. Okay. Yeah, but that's, I would say that's the big ones. Those are the, those are the big headlines. Uh, in, the, uh, in the patch notes that we're going to deliver on Tuesday. That I should be covering when they come out here on the channel, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. But this is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>